Hey guys, it's me, the Senile Simmer. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're a regular. Welcome back to today's episode of Wildflowers. Listen to that purr! Things I want but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag! Is it? It is! Damon, do you ever get out in nature at all? Nah, pfft, it's too hot. And the only flies I like are barflies. <laughs> I wish all foods had coconut, but fair havens just don't compare to back home. Hey, make sure to follow my Pixta Twit account. I post animal photos every day. Gonna become a Pixta Twit influencer, huh? No, no, no. I'm just trying to share my love for my cute little buddies. Is it time for bed? I think I see something. I can't believe Giva's living up in the mountain pass by herself. I'd be scared silly. But then, it's not hard to scare me silly. Francis and I tried watching classic horror movies on date night once. I grabbed his hand so hard, I left nail marks. Kai's hair is always perfect. He's given me some great tips, but these girls just won't be tamed. I just adore Wesley. There's a man who knows his suit size. Most men go a size too big. It's strange, though. I told him I'd stop by his store in Milkwater, and he looked panicked. Maybe he's doing renovations or something. I suppose. Kai's a lot wiser than I give him credit for. Or maybe he's just been talking to Shelby too much. Next time Kai comes in here to borrow my clear coat for a board paint job, I've got to make sure I remind him to use it in a well-ventilated space only. Love that guy. Swear I do. But I don't think he can afford to get any more flighty. Francis came to me complaining of headaches. Turns out he's been clenching his jaw when he sleeps. I suggested he go relax in the new onsen. He has to learn how to chill out or he's going to grind his teeth to dust. Say, Tara, I've been thinking about the fairies. What if they're the dark shapes in the woods at night? I promise you, there are no fairies in the woods. Yeah, you wouldn't know anyway. Food cures all. Hangovers, heartbreaks, you name it. Let me know if you want me to set you up on a date. Natalia complains about being single, but she never takes me up on my offer to set her up. 
I can only help those that want to help themselves, you know? You gotta come out before sunrise, my dude! Dawn Patrol! The Consciousness Center is a gorgeous building, but it sure gets hot in the summer. I wonder how the old congregation stood it. My grandpa took me to a few services when I was little. It was so hot, I just napped the whole time. So, there's your answer. My parents don't have my address, but sometimes I'm still afraid I'll walk into my home and find them in my sitting room. Have you got my silk then? Not yet. Wait, you're saying you would have turned your underwear into for science? It's so hot the kids have even expressed an interest in joining Parker when he goes to the Consciousness Center. Cameron's got his AC blasting at all times, of course. Seriously, you did an amazing job with the Onsen, Terra. You're welcome. I was afraid we'd be the only ones using it, but I've seen other folks up there too. What a success! I love my Fairhaven visits. The air smells so fresh here. There's nothing like coming over on the ferry, an unread book in my bag. So much potential. So, you were living in the city before you came here. What did you do? Hey, you mean like a job? I was a stock trader. Did well enough. Wait, really? Why did you quit? Eh, uh, just because you're good at something doesn't mean it's the right life for you. One day it all came crashing down, so I walked away. Do you have any family back in the city, Marty? Not anymore. I used to work with my dad, but he moved. We're, uh, we're not really in touch these days. I'm really sorry. That was how it was for Hazel and my dad, for a long time. for bed. Giva came into my store and wanted to know the stories behind the pieces I was working on. She's so inquisitive. Maybe she really will figure out why some of the seasons here are so long. What is it like living in all that open space? To tell you the truth, it is a lot of work. Well, what a great way to work off delicious baked goods. Hey, are you growing any cotton on your farm? We could always use a new source for cloth around here. Messenger Connor is a really humble guy, and he gave me a two-for-one package on seminars. I'll be reaching the pinnacle in no time. We'll be able to fix up this barn, no problem. But you'll need to clear out all the trees and rocks from the area I broke off. Got it? You come back and let me know when you cleared out all the trees and rocks there, and then we can talk business. We have chickens now, Grandma. Well, a chick. Parker fixed up the coop. It looks just like it did when I was little. Every other week, Sebastian's in the clinic for something. <laughs> Between him and Kai, we need a community watch program to make sure they don't get into too much trouble. Alice texted me a while ago. I was surprised to see her name pop up, but... It didn't twinge the way I thought it would. You know, when Thomas first started coming into my diner, he always took the seat at that booth that faced Lena's store, but now sometimes he sits at the counter instead. Still doesn't say much, though. Amira patches up my body, but Sophia's food patches up my soul. What, you think that just because I surf a lot, I'm always hungry? Well, I am. I thought these old hands were magic, because they knew when it was going to rain. But that lady scientist told me that pressure drops before a storm. Makes my arthritis play up. Huh. 
You should check out Sophia's diner. Oh, is it good? Yeah, her child is solid. And she'll serve you breakfast anytime, even if you don't get up until noon. So, I hear you're raising livestock, too. Are you upset? Not as long as you treat your animals right and keep them away from my corn plants. Whoa! What's this? A recipe? Oh, I feel badly for Francis. He just doesn't have the stamina to mine up precious metals for his jewelry. We'll help him out, won't we, Tara? Is such a flirt. Luckily, by the time I moved here, I knew not to take guys too seriously. I miss Hazel. She was my most stubborn patient, but a wise one, too. Am I sure this is the Adept Witch? I'll have to make another potion and explain myself if I'm wrong. Um, here you go, Dr. Syed. What is this? Oh, uh... <laughs> I'm just fooling with you, Tara June. Well done. I suppose the honey and mint might have been a bit of a giveaway. The others might present a bigger challenge. Talk to the Coven members and see if any are willing to take this leap of faith. I love working in my garden and the feeling of soil in my hands. I just don't like it under my fingernails. Some people think of craftsmen as being all right with dirt, but I'll tell you right now, the second most important tool in my toolbox is a decent nail brush. Parker and Lena's twins have real entrepreneurial spirit. Of course, they're spirited in general. Sometimes, too much. I'm ready for it to be fall. It's peak pie season after all. Parker comes to the Consciousness Center almost every week. I love it. He says he asks Lena to come, but she's too busy. Well, no one's too busy for the Book of the Mind. Spoken like a man with no children. How's it going so far on the farm? Let me know when you get some chickens. One day, someone's going to come around looking for something I don't stock. All the more reason to head out on my next adventure. Hi, Damon. What are you shopping for today? Just stop by to say hi to Lena. She's my unofficial big sister. Damon, if you're visiting me in your free time, it means you have too much of it. It's time for you to get a girlfriend. <laughs> What's wrong with being single, Lena? I'm fine being on my own. Oh, I didn't mean to offend you, Tara. I was just teasing Damon. <laughs> Thanks for standing up for me, Tara, but Lena's right. I'm used to her ribbon, but I might be ready to meet the right person. So you're single too, right? <laughs> I think Thomas looks forward to the kids' lemonade stand almost as much as they do. inside. Oh, such a good cat. <laughs> you still liked that, didn't you, kitty?
Your grandmother never approved of the masks outside of rituals. She wasn't really the shrinking violet type. And I suspect you're not either, are you? I got a letter from an institute focused on herb lore. They want to recruit me. I love potions, but I'm not sure if that's the right move for me. I can't believe magic schools are actually a thing. Girl, they've been around for ages. They're also crazy expensive, so it's like, probably not a real option. I had a chat with REO about what the fairy folk actually want for offerings. These days, even they have modern taste. Hey, you witch, is it my turn on mass? This thing is getting pretty itchy. Hey, you know, if you want to just take it off, I won't tell anyone. Nice try, but you gotta work for it. I need you to brew me a bottle of something so good, it'll make you float right off the ground. Literally. It's a limitation potion. So witches do fly? Yeah, but we need the right juice to do it. Don't go drinking it just yet. It's for your brew. You can't be serious. Witches don't actually fly on brooms. Of course we do. But not like regular brooms. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> yes, that would be ridiculous. Here's the recipe. You'll need to use your distillery as well as your cauldron to get it just right. for bed. It must be so strange to have a statue of your ancestors in the town square. My family might be complicated, but at least I'm not feeling the pressure of living up to a legend like that. Oh, real nice weather, huh? You know, I should snap a pic and text it to Dad. You don't have to run off to the Bahamas just to get some sunshine. What? Uh, just... just talking to myself. Another day, another viral pastry combination idea! Baked bean beignets! Savory, sweet, beantastic! Ew! What? It has merit! I might have to workshop the flavor some, but alliterative names are all the rage. If you get enough beeswax, you can make your own candles. I'm never quite sure what to do with myself when school's out. Plan Otto's taxes? Organize the closets again? Move ahead on that kitchen renovation? You could take a real break, just like your students. Oh no, I'd be terribly bored. I'm not a counselor, but I think this place could use one. At least one that's not Cameron. Am I sure this is the journeyman witch? I'll have to make another potion and explain- here you go, Damon. That looks perfect. You really do take after Hazel. If you make more, I'll buy it to add to drinks. A splash of levitation potion makes a lack of good cocktail. But isn't that dangerous? Eh, a few sips of the stuff won't make gravity let up. It just makes you feel light on your feet. <laughs> Sure, I'm pretty hungry. I worked up an appetite mop in the bar floor earlier. Now that I've converted Kim into a real angler, they're my best customer. My mom asked if I was eating. I told her that as long as Sophia's around, I am. How's business going, Emmy? Good, but I think Finn's been sampling the merchandise a little too much. Yesterday, he was so hyper, Mom made him run a lap around the house just to burn off some energy. We added extra sugar to yours. Ugh, oh, kids grow so fast. Feels like yesterday I was grabbing mayonnaise to clean crayon off the wall or get gum out of Emmy's hair. Why am I just now learning mayonnaise can do all that? Oh, Tara. Mayo and vinegar will clean just about anything. And wait until you see what happens when you mix them with pepper and scallions. One of the best dressings you'll ever taste. Hey, uh, do bugs like lemonade? I want to catch some bugs. And maybe they'd cluster around a cup of lemonade, like they do around porch lights. And why do you need bugs, then? For... reasons. I asked Marty how many animals he planned to have. He said as many as possible. Does he know what all that runoff will do to my soil? Ew.
I found something. <gasps> a recipe! Have you got my silk, then? Here. Oh, fantastic! And I appreciate you letting our worm friends take the time to hatch from their cocoons on their own. Then see joining me for the first flight? Sure! See, the balloon is set to pop at just the right altitude. Then the parachute brings it safely back down so we can read all the data. Neat! If this launch is a success, I might give it a go in that strange forest past Parker's workshop. Reckon there's plenty to see over there. Ah, uh, thanks for your help, Tara. I'd know I'm new here, and it was right decent of you. Things I want, but don't yet have. Get off the ground and in my bag. I can't believe they made me wait until second to last. I hate secrets. But the coven itself is one big secret. Yeah, but it's one we keep together. So that's more fun. There's still friction with the normies, though. And since Otto was elected, it's gotten worse. So, into the charm potion. Are you serious? I asked Grandma if we could use the charm potion to smooth things over between the coven and the town last spring. And she said no. <laughs> well, yeah, dingus. <laughs> you don't want to charm an entire town. Not only would that take forever, but it's a surefire way to make people go, huh. Maybe one of my neighbors is a witch. One person at a time, though, less of a problem. Got it. One charm potion coming up. Damon, how are you both here and at the bar most nights? It's called a broom, Tara. Okay, yeah, but... Less chatting, more witching. You're gonna get us in trouble with the boss lady. Your gram was a fine witch. Cheers me up to see you follow her footsteps in your own way, of course. We've lost many witches over the last few years. I thought someday I get used to the ache those absences leave behind, but I never do. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Hmm. Is it time for bed? I've been experimenting with more metalworked art. Oh, I wish I had the space for a proper sculpture garden. Finn's decided he wants to knit Lena's dad a pair of socks. Now, he could use a project, and I'm sure Marcus would love him, but I'm just not keen on introducing Finn to pointy objects right now. I was a difficult teen for my mama, but we could always speak to each other through food. Maybe I should learn guitar to speak to Juliet the same way.
Sometimes I think I should have put my shot by the shore so I could look at the ocean every day while I work. Then I remember the glare coming off the water always gives me migraines when I stare at it for too long. Have I told you about the time I nearly sliced my foot off in the water? Oh, I pulled into a barrel and my board whacked me upside the head. Next thing you know, my foot's caught on coral and I'm fighting to come up for air. Yeah, this looks great. It's like I always say, coconuts are the best fruit around. It's because they're so big. Hang on, this isn't a fish. It's some kind of recipe. I just got these high-tech coveralls that are supposed to wick sweat away. Oscar Wilde said, you can never be overdressed or overeducated. But adding another layer on top of my farm clothes in summer is like literally overdressing. Oh, wow, that hits me right in the childhood. I better get a snap of it quick before I devour it all. I was all set to set up a drop sonde over in the woods, but Shelby appeared and kicked up quite a fuss. He said the Pops balloons might land in the pond and hurt the fish. I tried telling him that I always fetch the balloons, but he'd already shooed me halfway down the bath before I could explain. Am I ready for bed? That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you would, hit the subscribe button. Maybe leave a comment. I will reply. Hit the like button. Share it with your friends. That can be found on Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. All senile simmer. And above all, have a really great day. Bye-bye.